Cardano NFTs are on the rise. And in this video, we are going to cover everything from A to Z and how to get started with Cardano NFTs before everyone else. We're going to start off with this website over here, opencnft.io. This gives us a good visual overview of the Cardano market and the volume over time. We can see the volume over the last 24 hours, seven days, 30 days, and all time. If we look back from around April to June, there was very high volume for Cardano NFTs. But right now, as I make this video, of course, we're in a bear market. We see volume down across the board for Ethereum, Solana, and of course, Cardano NFTs. But we wanna speak about Cardano NFTs in the event that the bull market comes back and how we can get prepared. And if we scroll down on this website, we can see where the volume is happening, where the trading is happening. We can see some of the most popular collections over time, over the last 30 days, seven days, and so on. But the most important thing we need to look at is the marketplace where all of the action is happening. Volume is extremely important. If there aren't any buyers and sellers, then really there's nothing. So if we look, at the marketplace by volume over the last seven days, 30 days, or even all time, we can see all of the action is happening at JPEG store. So let's head over to JPEG store. Here we are on JPEG store. And also I'm gonna leave links for everything in the description down below. And we went to go ahead and connect our wallet and we will see these are the options. Nami wallet is a much more user-friendly wallet. It's only available on desktop at the moment, whereas Eternal wallet is more advanced, but they have a mobile app as well. But for this video, we're gonna make it simple and easy, and we're going to use Nami wallet. So we're gonna head over to namiwallet.io, and we are going to download this wallet. We are going to create a new wallet, and then we are going to record the seed phrase offline. You do not want to store it on a phone, laptop, tablet, anything connected to the internet. And guys, this is just a test seed phrase. So if you go ahead and use a seed phrase, you will find an empty wallet. So go ahead and record the seed phrase offline. Now we are going to verify the seed phrase by adding the missing words. Once that's complete, select next. Then we are going to give this wallet a name and add a password. Now we have to fund the wallet. If we select receive, this is our address that we are going to send to. So you can either scan over if you have a mobile application or you can copy the address and send from an exchange such as Coinbase or Binance. And if you need a full list of exchanges that have Cardano, I will leave a link to this webpage below. And if I look at the history of my NAMI wallet, I can see that I just received ADA. Sometimes it won't appear right away in the balance, so you just have to give it some time. And now that our wallet is set up, we can head back over to the JPEG store, connect our wallet, select NAMI, select access, and our wallet is connected and we can see we have a balance. And by the way, if you're not able to get Cardano from an exchange, you can also buy it with MoonPay. If you connect your wallet, you can select the amount that you want, and then you can pay with card. And right before we interact with Cardano smart contracts, we have to add collateral. The reason why there is collateral with Cardano smart contracts is in the event that the transaction fails, the work needs to be paid for. It's very unlikely that when using an application such as JPEG store that you will lose your collateral. But in the event that you do, it's only set at five ADA, keeping it very small. In the event that you do lose the collateral, it's a very minimal amount. And as long as you don't lose the collateral, you can always choose to return the balance to your wallet at any time. So we are going to put five ADA as collateral. Enter our password and confirm. And now we can go ahead and browse and search for NFT. So if we look on the homepage, we have the top collections over the last 24 hours, seven days, 30 days, and all time. You can also head over to marketplace and you can set a price range for NFTs that you want to buy. So if we head back over here, I'm going to look over the top NFT collections over the last 30 days. And I'm going to buy one of these NFTs over here, Hungry Cows by Moosley Swap. So if we go over to this page, we can see that we can select from low to high, high to low. We can also see activity. This is very important. This will actually let us know if people are actually purchasing these NFTs. And if you're finding value in this video so far, please destroy that like button. So we're going to head back over to items, 
look through these NFTs and I'm gonna select this one over here. I like the mountains a lot. So I'm gonna choose this one over here and we can see the properties for this NFT and we can either make an offer, put a bid or we can buy the NFT. So if we make an offer, our ADA will be locked until it actually goes through. If we want that ADA back, all we have to do is cancel our offer and we will get the ADA back in our wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this NFT over here. Select sign, enter my password and confirm. The transaction is now complete. So if I head over to my profile, I can see that I own this NFT. Also, if I head over to my NAMI wallet, I can see my balance of ADA and I can see the NFT in my wallet. Now we can go ahead and sell this NFT, select sell NFT, and then we can set the price. So maybe I want to sell this for 90 ADA, but I'm going to hold on to this one. We'll see what happens with this NFT, but it has a breakdown as well of the royalty fee and the service fee that will be taken from your sale. So we just bought an NFT, but we need more information. And we're gonna use this website over here, cnftjungle.io. I will leave a link down below. This is more in-depth statistics than the website I showed you earlier in this video. It will show us a breakdown of NFT projects by volume, by floor change, by 24 hour top sales. We can go through and look over the last day, seven days, 14 days, 31 days, and so on and sort out the NFTs by sales, floor, and volume. You will notice right now I am on total market cap of all time, and we can see some of the top projects are Space Buds and Clay Nation. These are seen as more of the OG projects in this space, still very early on in the Cardano ecosystem, which we will get to. So when we're looking through these NFTs, we can get a lot more information. Also, this website has a calendar as well and it will show us NFTs that are minting now and upcoming NFTs. It will show us the websites, the social media accounts, the mint price, the supply. So this is a very good resource, a very useful tool. Another very easy thing to do is follow the Cardano NFT hashtags on Twitter. This will give you a lot of insight into the community. And when it comes to Cardano NFTs, we need to address maybe the most important thing at the moment, and that is the risk to reward opportunity. Right now, we are in an NFT bear market. Even during the bull market, most of the trading was happening on Ethereum followed by Solana. There were periods where Cardano was doing very well in terms of volume. But right now in this bear market, it's a lot harder, even with Ethereum. And when it comes to making money with NFTs, you need volume, you need buyers, you need sellers. So it's Ethereum, Solana, and then Cardano is behind, meaning that Cardano is a longer term play. If you're looking to make money immediately flipping Cardano NFTs, it's not going to be that easy, especially during an NFT bear market. It is a longer term play, a longer bet, a bet that you believe that the Cardano ecosystem will grow, that Cardano will be able to address scaling issues and thrive. So when it comes to Cardano NFTs, it also means that they're cheaper at the moment. But like we said, a longer term play. The top collections on Cardano, for example, Space Buds or something like Clay Nation are a lot cheaper than the top collections on Ethereum or Solana. So for many of these Cardano NFTs, you can look at it as an asymmetric bet. Put in a small amount of money, you might lose it, but if things go well, you have the opportunity to make a lot of money. But when it comes to NFTs across the board in general, it is super important to understand volume and floor prices for NFTs. When you truly understand floor prices, what they mean and how they work, it can help you make a lot of money in this space. So go ahead and watch this video on NFT floor prices explained and how it can increase your profits.